Okay, in this video, we're going to find the 53rd derivative of 1 over x. And in the description box of this video, there are two playlists. One playlist has categorized derivative problems, and the other playlist has random uncategorized problems. And so let's begin. So for a problem like this, whenever you're finding a large derivative, like a 53rd derivative, 50, 17th derivative, you need to ultimately find a pattern. And so that's what we need to do. So instead of saying 1 over x, I'm going to say we have f of x is equal to x raised to negative 1. Then I'm going to calculate the derivative. And the derivative of x raised to negative 1 is going to give us negative x raised to negative 2. So negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. We're going to do this again for the second derivative. So we'll do the exact same thing. We get negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2, x raised to negative 3. And we'll continue again. Let's do a couple more just to see if we can spot a pattern. So we have 2 times negative 3, which is negative 6, x raised to negative 4. And let's just do one more. So the fourth derivative. And we're going to get negative 6 times negative 4 is positive 24, x raised to negative 5. So here it was positive. Here it ended up positive also. So the thing we notice is it's positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. So here we have a 2, a negative 6, and a 24. That's going to involve factorials, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Here we could say we have 1 factorial and 2 factorial. 2 times 1 is 2. 3 factorial, 3 times 2 times 1. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 1 is 6. And last one is 4 factorial. So 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. And 24 times 1 is 24. And, uh, you know, 1 factorial is 1 also, 0 factorial is also 1. So we get our 1, we get our 1. And so now we kind of have a pattern established. So if, the, if you had the fourth derivative, you say 4 factorial to get 24. And if you notice, 2 and 4, they're both even, and you have a positive number. But we have 53rd derivative, so that's an odd number. And that's going to fall into play like 3 and 1, which gives you a negative number. And so our answer is going to be, we know it's going to be negative. We know we have the 53rd derivative, so we know it's going to be 53 um, factorial divided by, so it says x raised to negative 5. That's the same thing as saying we have 24 divided by x raised to positive 5. So it's in a way, it's one more. So this was a 4, you have 5. This was a 3, you have a 4. This was a 2, you have a 3. And so what we're going to have is, x raised to 53 plus 1, which is 54. So this is our final answer to our problem.